We're live. We're live. Here we go. Oh, we're home. We've had quite a journey, but we're back. We are back. And what's our goal tonight? To educate, empower, and equip. And what's going to be the topic? Um, to, to The topic tonight is going to be, you know, when we were over in um, uh, the UK, <laughs> we traveled a lot and we were England. all over the place in, yes. in England, but we, uh, I taught at the um, Preston College and when I, I didn't have any intentions of talking about this subject, but I started off um, with my PowerPoint and stuff and we were going to, I was going to give a class on airless spray and, and teach people how to okay. spray with airless sprayers and using specifically extensions. Everybody was fascinated by my use of extensions. They wanted to um, see that. And so, but I, I started off and just given um, just a quick overview of my company and my business and people started asking questions and, and um, we got into this long topic about how we started our painting company and what it takes to um, run a successful painting company. And um, basically we've got a very successful painting company that does uh, really well financially. And I wanted to share some of the tips and tricks um, that we used you, you know, and to building the business we have today. And so a lot of people were very interested in it and we spent a multi, several, I was gonna just talk about about 15 minutes on it and we talked on the subject for several hours. He did, he talked. For several um, hours. So tonight that's going to be our topic, but we do want to recap and we're so thankful we're seeing um, people here that we know. So thank you, Susan, for being with us and Ryan is with us and Chad Rockman's here and Steve Simon. So, Stuart Morales Drywall. Oh yeah, um, thank you so much. Angel Guzman, um, Trevor Hughes, Drome Landry, um, got a bunch of people, Lafayette, California. Well, um, Morales and painting and drywall just gave us a super chat. Super chat. Thank you, Morales. Painting and drywall. Big shout out to you guys. Um, who it says Julio at the end. It's, well, and um, guess my, what? I, his first name. I just um, we just started following him on Instagram. Yep. And so um, I was just gonna say we've just seen some of your pictures and some of your work, and so um, kind of cool. Yeah. So if people don't know, we are on. Instagram and we are on Instagram. So if you don't know, follow us on Instagram. I really love Instagram. I post little um, 30 second, one minute um, video tips on Instagram yeah. and then just some of the stuff that we're doing at the job site or even not at the job site, just family stuff to kind of get to know us a little bit better. But Instagram, I love it. Posting all the time and you will learn something on Instagram. So follow us on Instagram. We're also on Facebook. I post um, written tips on Facebook along with you know video tips and stuff like that. Facebook is The Idaho Painter. Instagram is Idaho Painter. Then we're on Pinterest, which is really interesting. We're posting pictures on Pinterest and then of course Twitter. Yeah. Um, so um, before we start the show and start talking about the topic, we've had three weeks of kind of, we've yeah, had a great three weeks. It's been a whirlwind, a whirlwind. tornado from, <laughs> um, it was crazy, from heading to California. Uh, we, we, um, 85 degrees on the beach. 85 degrees on the just beach. Just saying. And it was kind of cool. We uh, went to California and I just put it out there on social media that we were going to go oh, to this um, awesome. this pub. And if anybody wanted to come just meet us and hang out with us mm -hmm. at the pub. You know, brewery. The brewery. Pub is in England. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's brewery. all mixed up. <laughs> and, and we're just going to be there and just to see if anybody would come. And we were going to give them some shirts and stuff like that. We brought shirts and hats with us. And there was one person that drove Two. almost nine hours. One person Two. that drove almost nine hours all the way just Two. to meet us. Is Arnaldo and Karina. Um, yeah, the, and then there was um, another person drove like several hours from Riverside mm -hmm. to, to meet us. It was really Mario. cool. So Mario, Mario, big shout out to Mario. He's in Riverside, um, A, A Team Coatings. Yep. And big shout out to um, Arnaldo and Karina and Arnold, Arnold, Arnaldo Mendez in San Francisco. He has a painting company. His shirt is hanging you right can back see there. It. Hopefully you can um, see it. If you can't, Lisa might be in the way. Am big, the way? it's Big M painting. There you go. Lean uh, back. Oh, right there. Oh, oh there. Hanging there, up. There. It made it on the wall. So it big M. Big shout out to um, to his company. Hopefully, you know his company's going well. Hopefully, um, the A team and, and uh, Mario's company's doing and well in Riverside. We got to meet Nicole and Daniel. Nicole Waters um, got to meet her and her boyfriend Daniel's Meggers, and they they work for a painting company. Um, I uh, now I just forgot. They're down, the in, San Diego They're down area. in San Diego. But the point so, is, is we um, put it out there. 
and we loved getting to know them and that is exactly what it's all about is creating a community where we can equip and educate and encourage yeah. each other and yep. so we were able to do that. So just thank you for those that came out to see us. We really appreciate it. We got James Holloway from Oregon is on, says to come visit. Kenny Sanders is on. Brian Wagner, Lance's wall art has jumped on. Some of these names we've seen and some we yeah. haven't. So cool. Um, Fabian, Fa Fabian Mendez um, from Fort Worth, Texas. Haven't seen him. Eric, Fallout Guy, haven't seen him. So a bunch of people jumping on. Eric Singer, glad to see you, everybody here. If you guys got any questions and you can answer each other's questions, it's awesome. Great. Hopefully it's a great forum for you guys to come here, hang out, answer, share information and stuff. We got um, uh, Richard from DFW Crown on and just learn from each other. Mm -hmm. But if you got questions, you can ask us. We'll try to answer them. Typically, John is on the other side answering questions, but we're working tonight. So I left. Um, yeah, McKenna's on. Should, oh, should be on. I haven't seen if she's on, but she's yeah, usually answering question. On. John but, or McKenna um, is on. So, yeah. So, anyways, um, after here, I got to go work. We're working all night painting. Yeah. So, um, so, if you have any questions about how to start a business, we're going to go on to that. But we do want to have a recap because it's been three weeks. It's been a while. And um, last time we were on, we wanted to um, give money to the local um, rescue mission. Yep. And so we gave, because of you, $510 to our local rescue mission. So thank you so much. Because not only do we want to help and encourage, but we want everybody to do so well that we can help others. And so um, because of you guys, because of you guys giving, um, we were able to um, give. Yeah, I got one person asked if I've used the Graco Pro X17. I have not. We're testing out all the Graco products now. We're getting a bunch of them. I just got a couple more sprayers. So, you know, here in the new future, we'll be able to answer a lot more questions when it comes to sprayers. It's the same with brushes. Tonight, we're painting with the Corona Tynex and um, a Miller paintbrush. So, we're testing that out. So, it's kind of cool. Yeah. You're smiling. So, yeah. Why are you smiling? Because I'm just happy. You must so, have read something. But... I, I was reading something. You got Don's confused. all the way from Miami. Says, what's up, Chris? Yeah. Cool. So we're after California. We left the 85 degree weather and then we went to um, London. London. We went to London. We went to so if you want to see any of our little videos or anything, they're on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, so, I mean, just like our, our trip and stuff, we do mm -hmm. put little video clips here and there, what we're doing while we're, you know, out and about. We're putting them on Facebook and, and Instagram. So if you want to see that, one of the videos, what we put on Instagram, which was really cool, was painting the Berlin Wall. That was one, probably the number one highlight of the trip was mm -hmm. painting the Berlin Wall. And we have, we brought back some oh, giveaways. postcards giveaways. to give away. And with the piece of the Berlin Wall. So we're going to be sending... Oh. Um, out three postcards tonight. Three postcards. Away. Yeah. And they'll probably get a Paint Life sticker also, huh? Yep. They'll we'll stick a Paint Life sticker in with it too. So. Did anybody send of, you a sticker? Somebody sent us something. It says Bobby um, Stacy sent us something here. Um, I, I think it's a sticker. I don't know. I think a um, nasty finish and renovations. Thanks for being with us. Shore property maintenance. Thanks for being with us. How are you doing, Richard? DFW Crowns with us. Thank you so much. So um so here we go. He sent me a sticker. For a sticker so swap. um for a sticker swap. This is kind of cool. He put it in a little envelope and wow. everything. I like that. That's pretty cool. So um if you do if you send me a sticker, um sticker swap and shirt swap. If you have a company shirt, you can see the company shirts up there. Send me a shirt, I'm gonna give you a shirt. If you send me a sticker, I'm gonna send you a sticker. So here we go. Um look at that. Southern Southern Sawdust Incorporation Incorporated. There you go. Pretty cool. I like the sticker. Um, so he sent. If you want to swap stickers, send me two stickers, and I'll send you. And I'm I'm keep, I'm gathering them up because I'm eventually going to do a big sticker giveaway. So um, I'm going to keep one and give one away. So my bag of stickers is filling up. So it's kind of cool. So we have huge news. Like we're kind of all over the place. So, oh yes. But huge news because I just saw somebody needs a Paint Life shirt. What is the big news? The big news is big um, news. Our paint, our store, our paint life store. John finally got it done, um, courtesy of Journeyman John. He has been working hard on the store, making it a cool looking store and making it our own store. So now we're selling our very own stuff. So now you don't have to go to Cafe Press and pay fifty dollars for a short shirt. Forty dollars. Now expensive. all you got to pay is forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> 
You, you went up. You went less with John. You said 39 to 40. So, no. Our shirts now, um, way, way less expensive. Now they're affordable. So, so, at the store, it's just up and live right now. And it's so, live. how do they go there? Go check out our website, theidahopainter.com, and click on store. And then you're going to see my paint life store. My paint life store, that's our store. Okay. So um, that's our products, and it's got um, our shirts, hats, our stickers, mm -hmm. and then um, we also are going to be selling a few of the tools that we think are very essential to doing business, must-have tools that every painter should have. And you'll get on there, you'll see those tools, and those are tools that we use, tools, and they're in every one of our vans, and they're extremely important to doing a fast, efficient job. So. And, I mean, the store is going to grow, so if you go on there today and you don't see a whole big uh, selection of merchandise we are going to be we want it up and running but we're going to be adding to it yep so kind of cool that's pretty exciting news it's so very exciting um news. the store is up and running and then the other thing is is the another announcement is we're doing a live show every thursday at noon mountain what time? time mountain mountain time <laughs> so that's different than um pacific time <laughs> Which is Tumbleweed wants to know if we ate any English tarts. <laughs> he did dish up what was what you dish up haggis. Oh my! Gosh. And we told him that's not a good idea. And then he Googled it and he decided they, it wasn't a good idea. They have some interesting food over there. I was glad to get back to the U.S. and eat some good food. <laughs> not that their we, food's bad, but it's um, it just there's no place like home. There's no place like home, and we just have a bigger selection, a bigger variety um, of food here. Yes. And so um, I did eat some Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> So, okay, in the UK... German German beer is the best beer I've ever had in my life. Okay. Just, Just saying. Hands down to the Germans for making good beer. <laughs> so, thank you very much. I was excited to go over there and try a German beer and just hear all the hype. It truly is the yeah. best beer you'll ever drink. Yep. I don't yeah. know if I had any German beer. Wow. <laughs> On the UK, it's just... I mean, they just serve um, four beers. And it was just kind of like in every place you go, it's just the same four beers. But you liked it. I mean the beer. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah. So, yeah, so but cool. we do want to say um, thank you for Paint Tech Academy for bringing us to the UK. Chris um, taught some classes at the National Paint and Decorating Show, and we got yeah. to meet a lot of um, people that have been watching your. Um, oh my gosh, we met just it was nonstop people coming to the show um, and, and me meeting us and just talking to them and hearing their stories of, um, you know, how paint life has changed their lives and, and um, you know, in the painting and stuff. And so it's, it was really cool. Um, yeah, so cool. And then, and then one thing that we're going to talk about tonight is, you know, if you want to start a business, you know, how do you start a business? How do you go about that? And one thing, um, he did upload a video on Saturday. So if you just go back a couple days, he uploaded a video and he was interviewing Stefan from Airless Discounters and he was the one that brought us to um, Berlin, which yep. was an amazing trip. But he kind of tells his story of how he started a business. And so I, you see a lot of similarities between what he's done, even though it's different, um, but the same. If you start yeah. a business, what's the most important thing if you start a business? Um what <laughs> what's like what's the most important thing customer service right your Cust customers customer service is is to, uh, yeah if you ask uh, yeah good question if you ask me um what is the number one thing when a number one thing you need to learn to, to offer to give is customer service if you don't give good customer service you're never going to have a successful business in the long run so um cheryl sandridge says please add the bond girl stickers to the store we'll do ah. um we'll do that um, that wow, a so Cheryl found the store. That's awesome to hear. Well, add, um, she said it's her favorite, so okay. we'll add those to the store. That's and if anybody doesn't know what the Bond, the Bond girls, that's um, one of our very own creations, logos or stickers that we created. So we got shirts um, that we've made up at that at one point in time, but we got sold them all. So mm -hmm. yeah, so um, we got any more announcements? So. You painted the Berlin Wall, and what was the, painted, what was what was the point behind that? I painted the Berlin Wall, but, I, but there was a I mean, the I Berlin mean, the, Wall the, is a huge symbolic. The, the, the Berlin Wall was used to be a, like this symbol of. Um, well, it did. Uh, what was Se it separation? To, it, it's it's it was a separation of people. It was separation of a government, and it was a separation of a city, and so it symbolized. 
up something that wasn't good. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was incredible to go paint on the wall. We painted the Paint Life logo and I specifically painted that logo on there because Paint Life, what we're trying to represent is, is um, this... Um, I was reading stuff. I don't know. <laughs> to represent, empower, oh. empower and educate and equip your know, painters and, and business people worldwide just to bring people together mm -hmm. instead of dividing people. I mean, I'm a painter. I want to help out painters, even the painter next door to me. We're, we're here to help each other out. And it's a lot different now. I mean, the wall is something completely different now than what it was then. And Paint Life we, is what we want to represent. We were able to paint our logo on the wall and represent a community a worldwide community that's here to share ideas and um, help each other become successful because you know with you know with a group we can become more successful than just one on our own yeah so so that um, was very cool yeah, it was, for it was you cool. to be able to do that I brought back my own pieces oh. of the wall so they um, <laughs> So they, it was crazy. These are on um, pieces off the wall that were falling off the wall. He didn't I was pull painting. them off. They were multiple. Yeah, they were all over the ground. Yeah. And it's and they're multiple layers, like just tons and tons of layers of paint, just because people were just constantly painting on the wall. It was mm. an incredible experience. And there was um, the graffiti artists. They were dropping their little um, things. It's really cool. I so picked, he up picked up some up, of the stuff. He wasn't a litter bug, and he picked yeah, up other people's stuff. I picked trash. up, and because I'm gonna make yeah. like this um, frame and frame it all and stuff. And so I even there was a lighter drop on the ground mm -hmm. um, from one of the guy, one of the guys painting mm -hmm. and um, I even when because I got to spray and paint on the wall myself I brought back one of the spray cans that I actually painted on the Berlin wall with and so I'm gonna make it put it all in a glass case and frame it so um, that was that was one of my major highlights it was absolutely awesome and it was just I don't know just incredible to stand there at that wall mm -hmm. that's still standing where um, just some bad things happened. People died trying to climb over the wall, mm -hmm. were killed for it. And um, now it's something completely different. And we stood right there at that wall. So, so we're gonna be giving go away. Bam, bam. Ooh, some we'll of give these. away some here very, very quickly, very soon. Yeah. Um, Cause the way we'll just But you keep thing. holding these brushes, so. <laughs> I was just playing with them. Okay. They, these, um, I, we were at the he, painting academy and... He was saying to like makeup oh brushes. Oh my gosh, these brushes are absolutely incredible. Um, and I don't know how you pronounce it, Stallmeister, and I'm going to be testing these brushes out. And they this out, they, they paint like and do cut-ins with these things. It's crazy. And you're always they, telling um, people use big surfaces. <laughs> yeah, this was like, I mean, you know, this was a brush here that they paint with. These three brushes, they're just in, incredible Jenny. brushes. I'm going to be testing them out. Really, really, I mean, I saw some just amazing things, interesting yeah. things so, there. I mean, this is a layout brush right I think here. the thing is, is it was, we met amazing people. And that's, amazing. I mean, that's our goal is we want to be a part of a community where we do encourage and support and learn from each other. And so there were things, I mean, if you look on his Instagram, some cool lights, what was that one? It wasn't a lightsaber. Stark light. Yeah. I mean, there was just some things, there were some we ladder some aids that we saw. Cool and so, things. you know, we want to bring some of the things that we think are great and will help us over here, over here. And then we want to expose things that we think are great in the U.S. to their market. And so um, the, it was just a really amazing trip. So keep looking out. You know, if you're not on Facebook, follow us on Facebook because he puts a lot of stuff out there. And we took so much footage on our trip. And we want you to be a part of it because we went to win over there if it wasn't for you guys. Yeah. It was I awesome. Mean, if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't have been able to go over there and to learn and to meet other great painters and other great people that have the same goal and desire that we do. Cool. All right, so, here we go. Let's talk about starting a business. Um, painter and decorator. We got one person, Ryan Kernis says, is getting in with a contractor a good way to start out in, in a painting company. I'm going to talk about how we started our painting company. And I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can start, but um, you know, let's just get into it and I talk about. I think the big thing is is to kind of know your examine yourself know what are my strengths and what are my weaknesses and sometimes you don't fully know what they are because you know to own your own business is you gotta have a lot of different skills and abilities yeah. and so you may start something and realize oh I'm not really good you know dealing with contractors I'm better just dealing with homeowners so you kind of kind of fill out what is the best work environment for you do you want to do new construction do you love that because we're on this earth once and you want to love what you do you want to be able to look at the work that you've completed and to say I did that and you're proud of it and you're providing for you and your family 
And so I think it's really a very personal thing, but Chris will share his story. Yeah, so I, um, I started out my painting company and, um, you know, I was in, I got a college, a couple college degrees, a college degree, and I was working in the computer industry and things weren't going so well, the economy was bad and the businesses were going out of business and, and um, just circumstances, you know, um, were that, you know, I, I could have went and worked for another um, computer company, but then I'm going to be eventually put in that situation. Maybe the economy's going to get, get bad again and I'm going to get laid off or move to another company. And I didn't want to be in that position anymore. I wanted to be able to control my own destiny. So I decided decided the only way I can control my own destiny is to start my own business. And um, I just got together with a friend of mine. He was an apprentice, was not a journeyman painter, and um, and just convinced him, hey, let's start a painting company together. And I kind of I grew up in the construction industry. I started off in construction, you know, 10, 12 years old, you know, building um, custom homes with my dad. So I had experience with. Um, the very bottom level from you know the footings and foundations to the roofing to uh, drywall electrical to painting and so i had a lot of experience in construction but i chose to um start painting and um start a painting business first um, first you need to know how to paint that's what somebody said um, but you kind of learned as you went huh i, I kind of learned as i went i i started I, I started the painting company i didn't have really any experience painting painting houses um i did oil painting and stuff like that but nothing when it came to painting houses other than doing some stuff with my dad and we weren't experienced painters and, and uh, one of the very first houses i painted was my very own house i built our house from ground up did, it started and did almost all the labor myself and one of the things was painting and uh, the, one of the very first houses, that house I painted, I used an airless sprayer. And so I tackled the airless spray and I, I didn't know how to use one. Uh, Darren did, my um, partner, and so we got together. But you guys had limited knowledge because didn't you use the wrong tip size? Yes, I, I sprayed the trim with a 517 tip and you can imagine anybody that sprays, um, if you're trying to paint you know, trim with a 517 tip, you can imagine what happened to the trim. I absolutely destroyed it, got runs everywhere, but I, I wasn't discouraged. You know, I just said, yeah, I'll figure it out. And, you know, um, when I rented the sprayer, um, we rented it and they just, at the rental place, they just give you a tip. I mean, they don't know what they're renting you and no, they're not painters or, or sprayers. And so you kind of just give what they take you or give you. And so back then they didn't have YouTube. They didn't have all this, these places where you can learn this stuff. And so I just learned the hard way by doing. And so we started off our, our painting company and we started with just the Chevy 76 Chevy truck, my Did, truck. Didn't we buy it for like eight hundred or a thousand dollars? Like eight hundred. We had it. We had it for like a long time. I think it was eight hundred dollars. Yeah. And we had a sprayer. Very first sprayer that we bought was a Titan four forty, and we just bought a sprayer, and we had just a couple ladders, like a six foot ladder, and a few paint brushes in a bucket, and started our painting. But company. we already have people, and this is um, a good thing: is people are asking, I don't have a lot of money. Um, Jake's asking, I'm a small company, what are some ways to advertise? So, and I see on here that people are saying Craigslist, that's a great yeah. one. Um, why don't you share let, some let of the me, things you've done? So, well, I'll walk you through the process. I, I, mean, I had, just like a lot of people here, there's going to be a lot of people in the same situation as me. I had no money. We had no money. Yeah, we did. I, I didn't have money to advertise. I didn't have money. You had three little to, girls I, and a wife. Um, yeah, and and that didn't work. no job. And so, um, yeah, my wife didn't work, and so it was all dependent on me. So, you know, uh, I was trying to find every way I could to advertise and market that didn't cost any money. I you I had to invest a little bit of money to buy the sprayer, my paint brushes and stuff. But I had very limited tools, and you can get by with limited tools. Um, but then I was searching for uh, ways to uh, advertise my company and free. Mm -hmm. And Craigslist wasn't around then, but the very first thing I did was door hangers. Mm -hmm. um, door hangers were number one. I created a door hanger, tried to come up with a, real, a really creative one, and then we it was just, you know, um, hitting the pavement and just going door to door, hanging door hangers. Kids were on rollerblades. We were walking, riding bikes, doing it. And yeah. so door hangers were number one. And then, um, and then the other thing was grocery stores. Um, we had grocery stores that had those public announcement places yeah. where you can post like, you know, um, your businesses ads and stuff like that. And I created a flyer that had poll tags. And those pull tags, you can just pull them off and it'd have a phone number and it said free estimate mm -hmm. and um, it had a little bit about my business mm -hmm. and I'd go around every night. Um, at the end of the day, after painting all day and into the evening, I would drive to all the Albertsons and make sure every single day that my fly, my 
flyers weren't gone and that they were still there and even and I would hang up a brand new one even if there was only one pulled off and I did that every night at the end of the night I would end up at the last Albertsons they closed at midnight I would get to that one right before midnight after that one I went to the gym Gold's Gym and worked out but so like at the grocery store I'm thinking um libraries a lot of libraries have public places, even like the places. Um, the paint stores had paint uh, had stores. on boards. Um, the but there was a place, a print shop that um, I walked in this print shop. You know, they had it, but like your yogurt shops and um, places to eat. A lot, a lot of places have those have, public bulletin boards. Yeah, find them. Bookstores. Those things, those things um, they were an incredible resource, but the door hangers, and here's the story, I, we hung a door hanger on one house, and literally three years later, somebody called us from that door hanger, still had it on the desk, called us up, said, I want an estimate, showed me the door hanger, and um, it was an amazing story, door hangers work. Well, and I think for us, sometimes you think, oh, I didn't get a job, but we found out, you could really never say, I never got a job unless you see the house painted by somebody yeah. else, because I think it was five or seven years we gave a bid and somebody called back and said, oh, would you still paint the house? And we went back. Yeah. So. So here, and here's um, the next thing. That, and this is what I, I realized, you know, right off the bat. There's two things. One thing is, is you need to have a website. If you don't have a website, you need to make a website. And as soon as I created our business, as soon as I created it, I built and made the website that exists today. Obviously, it's been updated and changed. But you have to have a website. If you don't have a website, you're missing out on a huge opportunity to get business. So you know, I, you know, the door hangers and stuff were you know um, important, but we the didn't. website was um, is the most important. And um, you don't necessarily you don't have to pay somebody to do your mm -hmm. SEO stuff, search engine optimization. I do mine myself. Mm -hmm. But just branding your company, mm -hmm. it's part of branding your company. Mm -hmm. Having mm -hmm. your logo on your vehicle, um, having a website, being um, licensed and registered. It's all part of um, building customer confidence and um, branding yourself. So you, you can build a website. WordPress is a free um, um, is a free platform where you can build a website all, all on your own and upload it. It's very simple to do. And there's some other um, platforms that make it easy to do, but or you can just pay somebody to and do there's, it. I mean, there's a lot. If you do Google searches, there's a lot of inexpensive um, places that you can have yep. people do work And here's for you. A, the other thing. So I knew it was very important to have a website. The next thing was um, gathering an email address because you need to get an email address of every single person you do a bid for and every single person that you do work for. And you need to this is absolutely important you need to um, every single time you know um, somebody um, gives or you do a bid you get their email address and then quarterly I send out an email newsletter to remind people who painted their house and because what you want to do is you want to keep reminding your customers who painted who painted your house who painted your house so well, when they're sitting you know at the table at dinner with their friends and stuff and one of their friends says hey you know I've got to get my house painted here soon the person next to them is gonna say oh because you're constantly reminding them oh you got to call BNK painting but they're not gonna say that unless you give absolutely amazing customer service so it's very important customer service is very critical mm -hmm. and we started the business in 2002 somebody asked and so um, customer service is the most important but also you know back in the day you know you started a website no other painters had a website now you have to have a website yeah. Facebook Instagram yeah I mean you want people you, have, to you, know. have to, you have to have all, all of it you got to utilize all the social media now back then I mean there, there was no Facebook there was no Instagram there was no Pinterest there was none of that so my I mean the first thing that came out was Craigslist and I used Craigslist pretty heavily and I got a lot of jobs from yeah. Craigslist Craigslist has become like everything else very competitive but on a daily basis I, I would post ads on Craigslist at least five times a day that's I think that's a huge tip is people yeah. say, I put an ad on Craigslist and it didn't work. Well, because 200 people put an ad after you and so it moved you down. Your ads are going to get buried on Craigslist in two hours. And, yeah. and that's a fact. And so if you want your ad to show up, you've got to keep reposting it day, I mean, to me, five times a day. And, I'm, and it's simple. You, there's an app on your phone, a couple clicks, you delete, repost, delete, repost. And there's kind of this method you have to have, you know, I had, I had five um, Craigslist email addresses and phone numbers that I use to, um, you know, delete and post delete mm -hmm. and repost and um, so it's it's a little bit hard to do with just one account I had five accounts so um, 
I love seeing a lot of people are putting on here like Wix, they're putting WordPress, they're, they're, you guys are sharing ideas. And so that's a thing. And in different countries and different states, you have different resources. So keep sharing what you're using and what works for you because that's what we want to be. We want to be a resource to each other. Um, so Cheryl Sandridge says, what, what does BNK Painting stand for? BNK Painting is Barry and Kids. Um, our kids, my middle daughter is my social media manager. My oldest daughter worked for me painting. She was actually used to come out in the field and paint. And then our youngest daughter has done um, various things for the painting company. But that's what it stands for. So, um, oh, man. Uh -oh. I see people saying, like, stay away from Home Advisor, stay away from Thumbtack. I guess what's sad, I mean, we get jobs from Yelp. We get jobs for Angie's List. We get calls from them all the time. They want to pay us for advertising. So what's sad is those things were supposed to be just referral based and not paid advertising, but they've gone that way. Right now in our area, the only one that I know that is a true referral is Next Door Neighbor. So guess what? We get a lot of calls from Next Door Neighbor and that truly is neighbors saying, who painted your house? But Next Door and Neighbor might not, I mean, it maybe kill this you. be something only local. So well, no, we don't it's even all know over. that. We don't know if it's in the United States, why? Yeah. I mean, it's. I think it's It's a matter of finding, you know, what's in your area. That's and um, the Next Door Neighbor gets us a lot of jobs. Um, Angie's List does get us a lot of jobs. Um, even Yelp gets us a lot of jobs. I mean, I've been very, one. it's been very important to me to try to get my customers to um, write five star reviews for us. If you're happy with our customers, please go on Yelp, please go on Angie's List. Those two especially, write a review, give us a review on um, Google Plus, on um, Facebook. Fa I mean, all these things are free. So Facebook gets us a lot of work. I mean, in Facebook, we've even hired um, put oh, ads yeah. for employees and we've gotten yeah. hired people off of Facebook. Facebook is a great business tool. It used to be a kid's tool, mm -hmm. now it's a business tool. And so Facebook, has gotten us a jobs to the point mm -hmm. I got five Facebook pages now. That's how important I think five, mm -hmm. how Facebook is. I got five Facebook pages. I mean, if if you're a business, it's all part of branding yourself. You you need it's it's all part of the package. If if it's you against another guy, you need to have a better package than the other guy. And the package includes a Facebook page. It includes an Instagram page. It includes a Twitter. It includes um, Pinterest and includes a website. Those are essential. You need to have them all. If you don't have them all, you need to start working on them. They're all free. You just got to spend the time to do it. After work, you got to come home and be diligent and do it. So two points that I'm seeing just from reading the feed is that um, if you don't do good work, you're not going to get a job. So next door neighbor will tell all your neighbors, don't hire them because they did a bad job. So customer service, you can do all these things, but if you're not doing a good product and you're not doing it at a fair price, you're not gonna be in business. So you gotta start with that, using good products and giving good customer service. And then you need to use all these different advertising options. And some people are saying, you know, is Angie's List bad, you know, because you have to pay and the thing is, uh, we is, don't pay. I mean, you don't have to pay. You, I mean, you there's a, a, all there's all these avenues you can use. You can use Thumbtack. You can pay on Angie's List. You can use um, th there's home a advisor. home advisor. All these things. I've never paid. None of those companies never once ever money for leads. I mean, you you can. Yeah. That, that's you, I mean, you have the money that's to a, do that. a tool to um, start. You know, if you've if you got you know this much money to invest in advertising, but what I'm here to say is you do not have to pay anybody anything for those leads. There, I mean, there's so many leads out there if you're willing to just do the work and they're available for free. The, where you're going to get the most leads, the number one leads in your area is creating a website and having your SEO rank you high enough so you show up on the first page and search engines in SEO your search engine optimization you can do it yourself or you can pay somebody yeah but that's number one I mean you and, and we get a lot of work find you. in our area so we live in Boise in Boise Idaho and there's a lot of people that own homes from California, from all, all over the nation, own homes, vacation homes, or they're gonna move here to Boise because there's a lot of people moving to Boise. If they're gonna move to Boise and they just bought a home and they wanna paint it, what are they gonna search? Even if you live in Boise, they're gonna type Boise Painters, the number one key search in our area. And whenever you type in Boise Painters, you want 
you want your name to show up on that first page. If you don't, then you're missing out. I mean, literally a, I mean, we're getting, you know, 10, 20 calls of week, a week. Um, and John just texted me, he's watching. Um, and we're, we'll talk about Hootsuite, which is all, all this social media that we're talking about, um, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, um, Twitter, we have a software that we use and this is um, I, I pay for it but it you um, you can there's also a free version it's called Hootsuite and we use Hootsuite to manage it all and um, John's the one that taught me about it early on was yeah. Hootsuite and it's an absolutely amazing yeah. um, software get on do a search Hoot it's H-O-O-T-E-S-U-I-T-E -E, Hootsuite and it's great um, for um, creating, um, creating and managing your your Facebook and all that stuff, and 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 helping you add posts and stuff on a daily basis. Um, you can enter in all this stuff, you know, one day to um, do it all for you in a month. It's it's incredible. You just gotta look it up, and you just have to research this stuff. But um, to me, I mean, I'm not gonna say that your know, thumbtack and and home advisor all this stuff is bad. But I just, I do not see the point of paying them. I do not see the point of paying Angie's List anything. I get a lot, I, we get work from Angie's List and and um, I don't pay them anything. But I think that's back to the beginning. You have to be honest with yourself. And if you have money and you don't want to do the footwork, I mean, Chris was sacrificing his time and he was willing to pay his dues in that way to do the advertising himself. But if you have a little bit of money for advertising, then be wise, like Chris was saying, make sure your website is good, make sure people can find you. That's a great place to start. But Bobby Willis said, I will usually get one or two jobs in the neighborhood I'm working in. Be clean and professional, people are watching you. You are 100% right, Bobby. People are watching you work, and we have gotten many people call, and I say, how did you find out about us? And they say, you know, I watched them paint a house in my neighborhood, and I liked what they did. So to, to me, it, to me, it's more important instead of investing into these leads, like from Thumbtack, invest into yard signs, invest into logoing your vehicle, though, because now you put this gigantic, why do I have a big old gigantic um, van? This thing is gigantic. I bought it all the way across the United States, on the other side of the United States, and I had it shipped here because I wanted a big, massive driving billboard, and that, and it's so that van has gotten me thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of work. That's where I think it's you should invest your you know your money. I, I think even you know investing into shirts and hats to make you look professional mm -hmm. is better than investing into thumbtack or paid leads. I mean, there's way more important places. Once again, I've never you know paid for paid leads. I've never paid for advertising in newspapers. I've never paid to advertise online. You, I mean, nowadays it's so much easier um, to do it because there's so many free you know platforms that do it on. You, it just takes time. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and you just have to be willing to you have to be willing to learn Facebook. You have to be mm -hmm. willing to learn um, th these things. Um, we got to give those away. We gra grab one of the the um, stickers, the X stickers, X mark stickers. Um, the other one with the painter, mm -hmm. kind of cool. Well, we're gonna give away three, um, our three post uh, postcards, and we're gonna give away a sticker with each one. So we're gonna do that right now. So the three stickers. Um, and three postcards we're gonna give away. And I mean, we're just gonna make it simple because um, we, we don't got a whole lot of time. And um, I'm going to, let's see, where's, um, here's the feed right here. Uh, here, give me a pen. Pin, pins in the hand. So I'm just writing a number between, um, you know, one and a hundred. And all you gotta do is just, we do the same thing that we've done before, guess the number between one and a hundred and the first three to guess the number. And the number is going to be um, above 50. So above 50 and below 100. Why do you so laugh? Above 50. And below 100. And below 100. That's confused you, huh? Yeah, why wouldn't you just say 1 to a? Oh my gosh, you did confuse me. I, it's not very confusing. Above 50 and below 100. So could it be a negative number? How could it be negative? It's above 50. So like 51. You said 1 to 100, then you said... Above 50. So 51. Above 50. So 51 to 100. Oh my gosh. And here's a number. So here we're scrolling down. Oh my gosh. Confusing. Um, 
Do you know the number? No, I, I don't know you. the number. I just put it right there. That's two different numbers. That's, no, it's not. It's right there. No, that's a number and that's <laughs> a number. number. We got yep. a lot. It's, be, it's above 50. Um, oh, I see yeah, one. I see one. And it's what we see. So The first three that we see, and I've seen... Oh, man, you just did the feed too fast. No, I didn't. Mm. Okay, well, I'm scrolling down. Watch. For the number, Lisa. Lisa, don't look at that. Look at the number. I'm gonna tell McKenna. McKenna's watching. I gotta tell her the no, number I'm, so she can no, tape it in. I'm already we're, we're we're doing the number. Okay. Well, but she could no, type in the name. Okay. I, well, I'll say the name. Okay. There we go. Oh my um, are you looking? What the heck? No, People it's are going too fast. Um. Oh my goodness. Keep guessing, people. Keep guessing. 51 to 100. They oh, are. You just spooled really fast. Oh, I, how can you read that? I can't read that fast. Oh. So you let McKenna know, or John know. Okay, I found two so far. Okay, one more. Okay, there is the one. Scrolling down. Um, My eyes are not that good. <laughs> this is the this is for the wall, the Berlin Wall. We were there, and it's a little piece of it. It's actually a little piece of the thing and paint. All right, here we go. We got three winners. The first one is Rick Washak. Washak. And then we got Philippe Guerrero, and then the other one is, it's Lag, Lag, Lagapi painting. So you gotta Lagopi. type those in. There we go, three type winners, kinda in. cool. So Lisa's gonna start talking about our topic. I'm gonna write in the winners. So I think the big thing is, is you guys are giving great ideas to each other, and keep doing that, we really appreciate that. Um, know what your skills are, know what your limits are, and, where your limits are or where you don't like doing something. Sometimes you have to, when you have a small business, parts of your job you're not going to like doing, but you just have to do. But yep. if you're not gifted in it, maybe that's when you need to hire somebody. Yep. You know, so Chris was gifted in, you know, he was able to sacrifice a lot of time and not sleep a lot. Yeah. And so he was able to start his website and, and go do the footwork, you know. But I think um, do what... The phone keeps beeping. Um, find out what you want to do and um, don't quit. The biggest thing to small businesses is they tell you. Most of them fail. And after seeing us start a small business, I understand why they fail. Because it's hard work. So you really have to count the cost. And if you really want to be independent and not rely on somebody else, you need to um, count the cost and know that there's going to be times where you're going to have to work a little bit harder, but it's worth it. Yeah. So the three winners um, I, I announced, we just typed in, we typed in the um, live show at theidahopainter.com. You got to email us your address so we can send you the postcard and yeah. send you your sticker. So kind of cool. And then at the end of the show, we'll give out um, a Paint Life shirt. Okay. One more thing. We're going to give out a Paint Life shirt and a sticker. Um, so stay tuned for if, that. So. And if you're new with us, what do you want to tell them about how they can buy a shirt? Because they used to be really expensive uh, at all, Cafe Press. Yeah, now you can get them. They're more affordable. We have our very own store. Go check out our website, theidahopainter.com. Hit store, and then you're going to see my paint life store, and now we have them for sale. Kind of cool. Our shirts, our hats are finally for sale, so that you can finally get one of our hats. Kind of mm -hmm. cool. So, yep. So now we're talking about um, painting. So let, uh, let's talk a little bit about, you know, the customer service thing and, um, you know, what goes into our customer service. If you don't give cus good customer service, uh, you know, your business is never going to be successful. And when I mean successful, our, our business, I, I mean, almost all of our jobs come in now on a referral basis. We're getting just tons and tons of work by because of our reputation for customer service and doing good, good quality work. Um, customer service, one of the things we do um, is uh, at the end of the job, we give the customer a questionnaire 
of, so they can write on their own time and mail it back to us. And we give them a self-addressed stamp for all love, you know, what they think of us and what we did. It's their opportunity to say, you know, good things or bad things. And then so we can change. We give them a touch-up form so they can fill out, you know, for touch-ups and stuff, send it in. And somebody's going to be right out there to um, do the touch-ups. And then... Lisa's always communicating with them all the time, constantly. This is when we're gonna come out to power wash. This is when we're gonna come out to prep, and this is when we're gonna come out to paint. She's all constantly communicating with them, and that's part of you know the customer service. Here's another thing, customer service wise, that we do that a lot of people don't know that you know the only reason we're in business is because people are calling us and giving us their business and those people that give us their business we value them because they're paying my bills they're helping pay my kids to go to college and every single customer whether it's a $25 job or a $5000 job is are is just as valuable and we treat them that way and if they refer us to their friend we are very thankful because that's how we get the majority of our work now. And when they've referred um, their the friend, when Lisa gets a phone call for a bid, one of the very first things she says is, how'd you hear about us? You need to ask every customer, how'd you hear about me? That's how you learn what's effective and what's not. They'll say um, Yelp. They'll say Angie's List. They'll say your website. That's where you begin to learn where to invest your time, where to invest your money Always if you're going ask. to. And if they say it was from a friend, you need to write the friend's name down and um, it's probably a previous customer and so you already have their address and we send them a Starbucks gift certificate, a $10 gift certificate. And that is one of the best investments you'll ever make is, um, is sending those Starbucks gift certificates because the person's gonna get, get that and go, oh my gosh, they recognize me. The people want recognition, they're thankful for it. And after that, they're more likely to anytime anybody says, you know, who's a painter? They're going to give, give out your name. So um, sometimes those Starbucks gift certificates, the stack will be this big, but it's just part of doing business. Dennis Rodriguez says, I supply a $50 voucher for house cleaning after a large project. That's, that's an awesome that, that's one. A, that's a, an awesome idea that's, awesome that's an amazing idea. idea that was from dennis rodriguez a 50 a 50 dollar voucher for house cleaning on a large mm -hmm. project that's really cool mm -hmm. i like that i really like that. um kenny sanders said i gave them blue tape to mark spots they're not happy with so i can fix all things they don't like that, that's um that's excellent so what we do is we we mail them you know the touch-up form and they can fill it out but yeah, that's we leave a touch-up kit, a box that has each one of the colors in it, and we give it to the customer. Yeah, that's a great idea. Throw in a, a roll of blue tape, and then that way, when they send their touch-up form, they could just have the blue tape sticking on the wall. I like that idea. Great and, idea. Um, Michelle painting. Mich Michelle, is that how you Michelle, say? Michelle. Yeah. I give a bottle of Josh red wine. They love it. I mean, that's another great wow. idea. I think when you're working in people's houses, you can see what they like and what they're interested in. Yep. And so, I mean, here's, these are here, great ideas. Here's another idea, and this is what we do, the extent to giving good customer service that we do. When we do an interior paint job, as we're walking out of the house, we vacuum the floors. Mm -hmm. And what my idea is, is we're vacuuming, vacuuming the floors, and as you're vacuuming, you're seeing everywhere you painted to make sure that you didn't drip any paint on the floor or anything. You should have drop cloths down, but you never know. Um, you're vacuuming the floors, and you're leaving no footprints. You're leaving the house cleaner than when you got there. On the outside of the house, we take a leaf blower and blow off all the walkways, or driveway, and everything, and make sure you know, they can't tell that we were there. Andrew Slovacek made it. Like, I was about ready to end the show and try and find him and say, where are you? Because we're doing the live show. We've missed you. So <laughs> thank late. you so much for being with us. I didn't even notice this, but we had a, a, a super chat from Steve Simmons. I didn't know if you... I did notice that. Um, that, was, it's, I that was quite a while ago. That um, was quite a yeah, while I, ago. Yeah, I just noticed it. It, th it says, thanks from Simmons Cabinet Refacing. Um, cabinet Refacing okay. guy. Um, big shout out to Steve Simmons Cabinet re Refacing. Thank you for the super chat. Uh -huh. We appreciate it very, very very much um, so we all so pro finished painting Regina says that we also give an hour free touch-ups annually with every job so that's, yeah. that's, that's really so nice. So um, our customer service, what we offer is um, a five-year labor warranty. And so that means, you know, um, four and a half years from now, you know, later, if they saw something up high or something or something that we missed, um, we're going to come back and touch it up. Mm -hmm. So um, they have the, the confidence to know that they'll... and. When Lisa gets the call, somebody's out there within a couple of days. I mean, that's our goal. That's so we cool. don't um, 
Oh, I just was at a customer's house today that they had um, a company do their cabinets and um, something happened on the cabinets. The, the countertop guys, you know, um, messed up the cabinets a little bit. It wasn't the cabinet company's fault. And she's tried for three months to get them to come out mm -hmm. and um, for three months to, you know, touch up the cabinets and the company won't come back. And she will not refer them now. I asked mm -hmm. her, you know, so what's your opinion? Would you refer them? And she won't. And so now they just lost that, that, she loved the work they did. She said they did awesome, amazing work, but because they won't come back, she would never refer them. Now you just lost that referral and any potential referrals mm -hmm. from who they referred you to. So, I mean, customer service, I mean, you, you have to. This is, I, I think, one of the biggest places where um, painters mess. And just because you got their money, I'm a lot of us, um, a lot of painters or guys in the construction world, mm -hmm. as soon as they get the money in their pocket, they got their money, they're not looking at the future and thinking, what could this customer do for me in the future? They're just thinking, I got my money from them now. But what happens when they need to repaint their house seven years mm -hmm. from now? And that's, we've all, we've already been repainting houses. Go, I know you keep pointing at something. Oh, I just, because somebody has a great idea. What is it? Um, he says he changes the fire alarm batteries and I wash off the outlets we take off. That's a great service to provide. That, you're up amazing. on ladders. That's amazing. And I'm not that even go to changing high um, high bulbs and um, great idea. And you know, one thing is you know, tell the customer you're doing it, mm -hmm. and so they know. And then um, what we do on the outside of the house um, it has nothing to do with those light poles that are away from the house. They're mm -hmm. kind of like these lights are like street lights, we paint that pole. Mm -hmm. And then we let the customer know we just painted the pole. And they're like, I mean, those little things are gigantic. Mm -hmm. That's customer service. You're seeing a lot of good customer mm -hmm. service ideas. It goes into, you know, building a successful painting company. But, um, and, but with that, you know, that can be something you could add additional. Like when I paint your house, if you want me to change all the batteries mm -hmm. I'll do it for this yeah. cost and yeah. like you said the light bulbs yeah some people have big high fans and they their light bulbs go out for months at a time yeah I'll, so. I'll get I mean get back to like the beginning painting my company how important it was to get an email address there when I I mean nowadays what I charge to paint a bedroom is um you know it's quite a bit compared to what I used to mm -hmm. I mean I literally would go paint a 10 12 by 12 bedroom for 75 dollars and I, I would almost I would make maybe 10 dollars from it but what was important to me was gathering the email address because then I can remind them with my newsletters you know who painted their bedroom so when the outside of their house needs to be painted then they'll call me so sometimes as you're building your business you're not going to make as much money I would say for several years to me it was all about getting um, mm -hmm. email addresses that was number one and anybody here that's watching this you need to hear that you need you need to understand you need a phone number and you need an email address but most importantly an email address and you need to make a newsletter and send it out and I use um, GoDaddy because that's where my, my websites are hosted from and I have um, I have over 200 domain names so I own a lot of domain names that you know, direct people to my websites. Mm -hmm. I'm really, you know, advanced in this stuff, but um, GoDaddy is where I host my domain names and my web pages, and they have a service, an email service, where you can make an email um, newsletter really easily. They have these templates, and you can fire it off to your email newsletter list. Mm -hmm. And all the people that I get go right into this list that's maintained, you know, through GoDaddy, and it's, it's a simple, that's a paid service. I do pay for that. Um, I think it's like $20 a month, but absolutely essential. Making a newsletter is absolutely essential and making your own newsletter. And it's just one page. It's very simple, very short. It has some tips. I offer a few tips and tricks, but then I also typically, I don't do it now, but we used to offer a coupon. And um, this is how effective every time winter rolls around here, winter time is a slow time. As soon as winter comes up, I would do a newsletter and bam, we would get a bunch of hits and get a bunch of jobs. Anytime it starts to slow down, we'd send out a newsletter and we get a bunch of jobs. Mm -hmm. Very important for building I mean, a business. People are seeing um, 78835 says, see your customers as your lifeline. And I think, you know, that's the thing is, is what I'm seeing you guys, um, you know, Obviously, you find like-minded people, and so you know the things that you want to do are the same, similar mm -hmm. to what we're doing. And so I love reading all the different ideas that what you guys are doing. You know that we yeah. would never think about the, the thing about the, the um, you know seeing your customer as their lifeline. She's she's trying to grab her phone. Um, 
in this and, and I and I kind of say it another way that's that's the, that's key that's the number one you have to have a mindset that your customers are the ones that are paying your house bill they're paying your car bill they're putting food on your table and if you look at that and, and understand that and realize that you'll start to look at your customers in a different light and sometimes when they're making you mad or whatever it's really those are your customers and you have to respect that and respect them and um and it just it changes how you look at things your customers are the ones that are paying your bill mm -hmm. and you need to treat them like that yeah. you need to be thankful for every single one of them appreciate every single one of them appreciate I, I at the end of the job um, if I'm there John usually closes the job out if I'm if I'm the one closing out I shake their hand and I always say thank you very much for your business mm -hmm. thank you very much for your business because I'm thankful for the business that they gave me so you, you have to end it like that mm -hmm. you know we end it with our your invoice package or invoice package you know in we don't our our bid packet when we send a bid packet to a customer and this is important your bid packet we're running out of time but i want to touch on this if a customer calls up and wants a bid for a 12 by 12 room i'm going to write him a bid and that bid um is going to go to them for a 12 by 12 room our bid packet that goes with that room is 20 pages more than 20 pages long for that one room because we're trying to win that one job and yeah the bid packet i don't write hand write the 20 pages it's a custom-made document that you know the, the the name is automatically inserted in places and stuff using quickbooks uh -huh. um but that document every single bid that we write has a 20 page bid packet that goes with it and then when we're done we have an invoice packet we don't just hand them a bill say you know where's my money because we appreciate it we send them a packet that includes the invoice how much they owe us a touch up form this to, so they can you know at their leisure whenever they want and then a questionnaire um, of how we did it's important and then whether they can use that information on the website all those documents we make them available now I decided eventually a while back that you know I'm not gonna you know keep all this stuff to myself I want to help everybody else's companies out there so we make it available for a small amount of money on our website where you can purchase those documents editable copies or non editable copies and um, I could give them away for free, but then I think if people are just getting it for free, they don't see the value. You gotta be willing to invest something in your company, and I want to see people that are willing to invest, and so we offer those documents. I offer a copy of the, the 20 page bid packet, I offer a copy of our invoice packet, I offer a copy of our business document package, that includes like our warranty document, and some other How about even your stuff. door hangers? Our, I offer um, a packet that includes my door hangers that I, you know, created and developed all this my bid packet was eight years in the making it took eight years and i still um revise it and edit it as things change and stuff you you got it you can't just show up at a job and hand them your your written out scratched out one page bid it has to be a packet selling you and my bid packet includes my resume the paints we use pictures of my employees all kinds of stuff and um you, you've got to sell yourself this is your chance you can sell yourself in person but then you hand them the document now they can go home and in the quietness of their home and read your document that you handed them this big long document that describes everything you're going to do and that will sell i mean a, a crazy amount of jobs so you, you need to sit down and start creating your big packet absolutely important mm -hmm. so we do have to well, give away a shirt because we are running this we're going to give away a paint live shirt and a sticker you're smiling you see something what? no what i just i i love i love how you guys are really engaged and you guys are really sharing ideas and telling us what works for you and i think there's some things we're going to talk about you know i love the idea of the batteries i mean because that's something you know that that's you amazing with some of the help. ideas people are offering yeah, this I mean, is what lights, it's all about i mean i mean the paint life community is i'm here to share all this stuff that we're doing mm -hmm. that that has built our successful painting company um, I mean, I could give a full day seminar on this. I'm trying to just touch on the highlights of what it takes to build you know, a successful painting company, but um, hopefully this helps you know, some people. But I mean, eventually we are, we're building our building to have our own academy. Our, we're, building our, we're building our temporary building. Temporary building. Temporary building 
to start um our our own academy is coming paint life academy we went over to the uk um you know and met with you know um paint tech training academy and who's really successful and we've gotten amazing together people. amazing people so and we're going to be having them. our own academy coming very soon so yeah, we're very excited and about we've it. been able to travel and we've been asked to travel some more places yeah. so that's our goal our goal is i want to meet all of you guys i want to put a face to the name and um we want to travel and meet you and learn from you guys and um be a part oh, of I never said those winners. The number was eighty nine. <laughs> the, the the people that won. Mm -hmm. I mean, I never said I wrote eighty nine on my the piece of paper right there. So those three winners was number eighty nine. So we do got to give away a Paint Life shirt yeah. and one of our um, paints Paint Life stickers. So we're gonna do that because we're running out of time. Win, if you don't win one, you can now go to our store. People, people have been asking all the time, well, how can I get one? How can I get one? And I know there's people that keep trying to win them, but now they're available for yeah. sale. So, and they're at a reasonable price. And it's getting close to Christmas time. But, um, just saying. yeah, shipping's, I mean, we're just now <laughs> we're just... getting it in. So trying to get it before Christmas is going to be really difficult, but, um, they're available. So, yeah. um, yeah, so we got to give away a shirt and I have to go, John and the guys, they're painting right okay. now in blue sky, um, bagels. So I got to head on out of here and go paint mm -hmm. all night long. So we're painting a bagel store, and it's a bagel store. And I mean, so I think that's a that's another thing. You have to be flexible. I mean, you have you to. I mean, you got to do what it takes to make money. To have your own business, but the thing is, is you could be a great painter, and you may not want to own your own business. You know, come here, and we'll talk to you about what products to use and what paints to use. Yep. So here we go. Um, just gonna make it simple I would love again. To come to Florida. Um, yeah, we got a lot of lot of people chatting places. on tonight, which was really cool. Thank you everybody for being here. Yeah, thank you. I mean, it's been our in, super in, chatters. In, thank you for our super chatters. Andrew Slovasek, Steve, Steve Simmons, Simmons, Morales Drywall Painting. I mean, and we couldn't um, have ended the night without yeah. Andrew showing up. So yeah. that was so, rare that you're late. Thank you, Bobby Willis, for being here. Adron Courtney. Um, you know, animals are angels. Oh, um, D E R N. So thank you, guys. Mac Miller. Um, yo, so guys, one and D E R N. I I I just got that nail gun off, so you should get it in a couple of days. We just sent the nail gun on. We gave away a nail gun, so I uh, gave away um, a Titan sprayer, a, a 440, a Wagner sprayer, a Wagner, a, a Wagner, Wagner. While I was at the National Painting and Decorating awesome. Show, um, pretty cool. So um, I gave away three guns and tons of tips. But anyways, we're gonna give away yeah. a Paint Live shirt. And stick it right now. Um, the first num first one to guess the number between one and fifty. So here we go. That you see. One and fifty that I see. The first that person I sees. see that guesses the number from and one. And it goes and so 50. fast that my eyes aren't that fast. But we scroll backwards. Oh. So <laughs> that's more confusing. So it's not. It's not. Between so one and fifty. Between one and fifty. And then you're gonna have to email us at the. Um. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> thank, thank, once thank again, you thank you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for being with us. Um, I'll be watching the numbers mm -hmm. here. Um, and uh, if you don't follow us on Instagram, please jump over on Instagram. Follow yeah. us on Instagram. We'd Facebook. love it. Um, follow us on Instagram is Idaho Painter. Facebook is The Idaho Painter. Yeah. Um, go check out our tool store on our website, The Idaho Painter. And more Painter. things are gonna be coming to the tool store. So if you go there and you're like, oh, there's not this or that. If you have a sticker. I, I, I see one. I already saw it. Okay. Um, if you have stickers, send me two stickers. I'm gonna send you um, my stickers, sticker swap and shirt swap. If you have a shirt and you wanna send me your business shirt, your painting company shirt, I'll send you one of my shirts. That's you another will. way I will. I didn't know that. That's what I said, the, the no. shirt swap. I never heard of a shirt swap. I said it at the beginning of the show. Oh, didn't get to that. <laughs> So I really um, usually listen to every word he says. Um, really? <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of numbers. So no more jet lag. Good to be back in the oh, US. It's good to be back. Loved um, everybody in the UK. Loved everybody in Germany. I brought and back a stone. We want to come back. I brought back a stone from Germany too. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Actually, it fell out of the suitcase. I was wondering where it came yeah. from. So the winner of the shirt and um, one of our Paint Life stickers the number was 47 and the first person that came up on the list was tumbleweed oh, tumbleweed that's um, an easy name to remember has tumbleweed, tumbleweed ever won anything yes, before they have i think so so tumbleweed so. tumbleweed but we're glad you're a winner 
tumbleweed. Um, I can't scroll okay, back Okay, but up. you got to type in tumbleweed. We need tumbleweed. your size and address, and I'll get that mailed out sooner rather than later. So, tumbleweed, you're the winner. We need your size. We need your address to send Absolutely. you the shirt. So, type so, that in. Um, yeah, mm. at McKenna, if you can type that in. Um, the or live show at the dash Idaho dash painter.com. And I mean, the show is only um, here because of all the people because that of show you guys. up here. Because Once of you again, guys. it's kind of the same thing with your customers. The only reason you're in business that you have a painting company, if you have a painting company, is because of customers that are calling you and paying you to and, paint. And the thing is, is sometimes I think it's just us in this room, but when we went to the UK and we met hundreds of people, um, it was amazing. It was amazing that we're a part of this community and you guys are a part of the community just as much as we are. So thank you for being with us. Thank you for the super chatters. Um, come follow him on Instagram. He has a lot of fun and a lot of creativity yeah. with his pictures and what he posts. So. And I now I have to head off and go paint yep. for the rest of the night. If you yep. want to see what we're doing, you know, painting, you can go follow us on Instagram. Yep. We just did a live show on Instagram right before this show and Facebook. Yeah, showing what you're doing and, and how you did all the different colors. And giving you some tips and tricks, painting all these overlapping colors and stuff. So go check it out. Yeah. But like we always say, we have to end the show at yep. some point in time. So we'll see you on our next video. Out. Good night.